Hey, this is Tracy from AVL Marketing, and I want to talk to you about constraints, or more accurately, the theory of constraints. Uh, this is a management theory put out by a guy named Eli Goldratt a couple decades ago. And in a nutshell, it says that <clears throat> within your organization, there's always going to be a constraint. It could be a person, a process, a piece of machinery, a policy. But that constraint is where you need to focus your attention if you want to get to your goal, making money, if you're a business, if you want to get to, move to that goal more quickly, you focus on the bottlenecks, not everything else. And once you break that bottleneck, you move on to the next one. So uh, it doesn't matter if you're a service organization, you may have areas of work like this. These again, these could be people, they could be uh, procedures where everything fulfills uh, at once to the product that's integrated and shipped. Or it could be more linear, like an assembly line or manufacturing environment where each thing is dependent on the next. Uh, if there is a bottleneck anywhere, it's not just a problem in these local areas, it's a problem for the entire thing. Uh, because this is dependent on all of these pieces, so it really doesn't uh, just affect this one area. And while I'm talking about local areas, it's a great... Uh, quote in the book says, we are not concerned with local optimums. And what that means is, let's say this area, whether it's a person, machinery, whatever, is quote, suboptimal. And you can improve it all you want, but it's not going to affect your overall ability to ship or make money until it's a bottleneck. So you really need to fix this first. So the idea is that uh, you start with identifying the bottleneck first. And Goldratt says himself that if it's a service business, it's going to be a lot, lot trickier than, uh, say, a manufacturing plant. But it can be done. And so find that person, policy, process, machinery uh, that is the problem and identify it. Uh, step two is exploit it. And by that, they mean take it to its maximum capacity to elevate the overall ability to ship. And there's a lot of ways to do that. If it's a piece of machinery, is it running 24-7? Uh, if it's a person, do they have all the resources they need? If they're not already in the current present state, if they're not already at their max capacity, address that first. Step three is subordinate, and that means subordinate everything else in the organization to fixing this bottleneck. That doesn't mean take everybody off of their jobs. It just means that all decisions and process and policy stuff needs to be focused around that we are addressing this bottleneck so we can do more faster. Step four, elevate. Uh, again, that's increasing capacity, but now you're going to take bigger moves. So do you need another piece of machinery? Do you need another person? Do you need to send somebody for training? Those sort of things. And then finally, step five is repeat. Don't let inertia set in, uh, because the idea of constraints is that there will always be a constraint. So if you've removed it one place, uh, by definition of the theory, it means it's cropped up somewhere else, and you now your time and attention would be best uh, focused on that area. So I hope that's interesting. Uh, if, you, if it is interesting to you, I highly recommend a book called The Goal by Eli Goldratt. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.